What is the Kazuya Mishima channel? Well, the Kazuya Mishima channel was created in 2016 after I did a couple voice takes and stuff like that on the character himself. So it's you. So you've come. So you come. Get lost. Pathetic. Die. Hmm. Pitiful. Koko de shire. Kiero. Umaika. Samaka. Hmm. I had the idea since a couple of friends of mine at the time were making character channels. Not gonna name names, but you know. It was crazy at the time. The character channel. There's like. There's character channels everywhere now. But back then, around 2016, 2015, there wasn't any as influential as the ones that are sparking in popularity today. I started uh, my Kazuya channel with just one reaction video. That was the first video on the Kazuya Mishima channel was... The Kazuya reacting to Jin's Tekken 7 trailer. Because this was in 2016. And Tekken 7 was going to release the year after. So I just did this stupid video. I did my Kazuya voice. I reacted in the way he would have. And the rest is history. I think you're so cool because you have spikes on you. I don't think so, buddy. Mark the Lord trying to do that with his wrist, but he failed too. And so are you! Oh look, what? You have the second four physics now? Your hair's gonna come out whenever it feels like it? Fuck you, asshole! Shortly after uh, that, I started doing Let's Plays videos with my crappy camera. Adoya! It's Kazuya Mishima, and welcome to Tekken 6. I uh, have no idea what I'm doing. You're nothing! Compared to me, nothing. I will. Um, I'm gonna address this now. When I first started the Kazuya Mishima channel, the voice it's horseshit compared to what it is now. Um, especially with those do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya. It's Kazuya Mishima. Obviously, as time goes on, you start to get better with the voice, and thankfully, hopefully, I've uh, I've gone better with the Kazuya voice over the years. I'm surprised nobody has asked me this, or at least I think nobody did. Um, the origin of Do ya? It's Kazuya Mishima. That intro, um, it just. It came up on the fly. I was really scrambling for intros for the channel. Uh, one of them was, It's your favorite demon, Kazuya Mishima, or This is Kazuya Mishima, the devil himself. But I, I went with Doya because that's Kazuya's catchphrase. It's what he, like, a lot of Kazuya players use the EWGF, and, including me, and Doya is synonymous with Kazuya's character ever since Tekken 4. I mean, it's better than me opening the video up with TWA! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm pretty cool with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck! After that, it turned into making songs and stuff. Jin is a fucking piece of dog shit. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Jin is a fucking piece of dog shit. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I, I didn't see. It's, it's good to have variety when you're doing something like this, playing a character. And that originality factor, it needs to come into play. Because if you don't have any variety, then what's the point? of even doing what you're doing. You're just gonna be like everybody else. So, you gotta be original. Also during that period, um, I convinced a couple friends of mine to make their own Tekken channels as well. One being 
my supportive girlfriend, Elaine. Hello everyone, I'm Jen Kazama, and welcome to my channel. Here on this wonderful channel, I'll be doing reactions, gameplays, or let's plays, whatever you call them. My two brothers from another mother, George and Charles. Hello there, my name is Jin Kazama, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I upload videos that everyone might enjoy, and even though you might not enjoy them, still, you might quite possibly enjoy them and get a laugh out of them. <laughs> my name is Heihachi Mishima, head of the Mishima Zaibatsu, father and grandfather to Kazuya Mishima and Jin Kazama, aka the kids I never wanted, and now, a YouTuber! And I met a lot of other people as well during that time, and they made their own Tekken channels. Just to name a few, Geese Howard, who is Bardock in the Elite Fighters now, subscribe to him, Shao Yu the Panda Girl, Devil Jin, Countless Others, the New Jin Channel, and an honorable mention goes to Chris, who was our Agent Ogre, who unfortunately passed away in 2019. Now, some of them would disappear. Some of them would come back eventually, like Xiao Yu the Panda Girl. Um, there was also Negan the Tekken God. We had a Lee at one point, but he did his own thing. We respected his wishes. Uh, man, there was a lot. Um... They're all fantastic, down-to-earth people, and I'm grateful that I got the chance to form a bond with them and have them join the Tekken family. Do I ever feel any doubt in what I do on the Kazuya channel? Do I ever feel like what I'm doing is not what people want, or do I feel like I'm wasting people's time? Listen, look, everybody gets that feeling that they can't do anything right, that they will never get somewhere in life, that all they're doing is just wasting time. That's not true. Everybody always have those dark thoughts, myself included. But it's not like there's no escape. There is. All you got to do is say something. Speak up. Talk to somebody who you trust, who you love, who will listen to every single word that you have to say about yourself, what you're going through in life. Like, you're never alone. You just need to reach out your hand, and someone will take it. There's no reason to feel like you can't do anything right. There's no reason to feel like you'll never get anywhere in life, because you will, despite everybody stacking their cards against you, despite... Everybody backing you into a corner, you could always get out of it, no matter what. There's always a way out of a negative situation. It's not hopeless. I do feel like that. But you know what? I have supportive friends and family who will help me get through whatever I am going through. And no matter what, that ain't going to cause me to... Despite all of that, it ain't going to make me act in a harmful way to myself because that's not going to solve anything. Speaking up to somebody, sympathizing with that person, watching videos on YouTube, doing something that distracts you from all the bullshit going on in the world, helps you. And I hope somehow, some way, that I'm helping you guys in some way. Because if I'm not, what's the point? I'm not giving up. There's been so many, I've been backed up into a corner so many times during this journey. I'm ready to take on anything. I'm still here doing what I do. And I will continue to do it. Because you know why? I love Tekken. I love its fans. I love doing this. Making content for you guys. Entertaining you guys. That's something I've always wanted to do since I was a little kid. Is entertain people with what I love. And Tekken gives me that chance. So, I think I've, I've answered this question before as well. But um, how did I get into Tekken is a story that I love to tell. 
because Tekken basically is my life now, and I am more than happy about that. I was over at my Aunt Alice's house, um, my dad's side of the family, and I was looking through some games, and <laughs> I found this game with some dude on the cover, <laughs> hair all up and shit, and I was like, what is this? And my Aunt Alice, she put on the game, and it was Tekken Tag Tournament. She had all the characters unlocked, and as you should know, that immediately unlocked my gateway to Kazuya, since he was already unlocked. Thank you, Aunt Alice. <laughs> I played it, and there's just this spark in me. This game is fucking awesome. <laughs> I love their characters. I love the environment. I love every single thing about this. I want to play more. I asked her, can I have this? And she just gave it to me. <laughs> she let me have her Tech and Tech, original Tech and Tech copy that I still own to this day. And then shortly after that, I asked my grandfather, can I get this game called Tech and 4? And I got Tekken 4. And I just started loving the series more and more and more. I played Tekken constantly. Almost every day when I came home from school. <laughs> every single day. It was just, I'd be playing Tekken Tag 1. I'd be playing Tekken 4. I'd be playing shit like Mortal Kombat Deception on the daily. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. The list goes on and on. Super Smash Bros. Melee, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Tenkaichi 3. But thanks to my Aunt Alice, that's how I got into Tekken. And I remember the days where me and my grandfather and my mother and my dad would always come in the room to play the uh, game with me. And they would always kick my ass every single time. Well, my dad would always kick my ass every single time since he'd played it before me, obviously. He played Tekken 3. And... I got so mad. <laughs> I would always get so mad. But he's like, you gotta practice. You gotta practice. And then... I never looked back. Tekken 5. When I first got that game, I was in love. I was... That's when it really kicked for me. It was Tekken 5. When I got that game in 2005, when it came out... I... Oh my god. The best Tekken game... In my for for me personally, in my memory, that's the game that I played all the time was Tekken Five. During those mid years, and I would just freaking I would go on Amazon. I collect those twelve inch Epoch Tekken Tag figures and the Tekken Four. I had the Jin. I had the Kazuya. And those were two, my two favorite characters, and they still are to this day. I've also grown to like characters such as June. Uh, I always say Jun, uh, that's more better for me. Uh, June just sounds weird. It's like you're just saying, not oh, the month of June. No, it's weird. That's why I just say Jun, but I respect people who pronounce it June, too. Um, Xiao Yu, definitely. I love Paul Phoenix, Martial Law, Armor King. Heihachi, obviously. Uh, can't forget him. Man, to think, all those years later, I'd make a channel based off Quite possibly Tekken's most popular character. I'd like to personally thank you guys for giving me the chance to express my love for Tekken on this platform. I'd like to give my most sincerest thank you to Elaine, who's been sticking with me since the very beginning. I love you eternally. I give you guys all the love in the world and you know as time goes on hopefully we gain more uh we gain more of the Tekken family i would love to see more char Tekken character channels that'd be very nice um to have more people with us i am eternally grateful for all the support you guys have given me over the years, I 
I like to thank Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> Kazi's inclusion really changed the game for me. It really opened up a lot of doors and to Kazia to a lot of people. And I hope you guys find what you like on this channel. Um, I really hope that you guys will stick with me for years to come. I love you all. Thank you for watching this. It's quite long, but it's my journey. Do ya.